Welcome to our 12 Days of Christmas nail art series featuring me, Talia, from Talia's Nail Tales. And me, from Sarah's Nail Secrets. We had so much fun doing this series last year that we're doing it again with 12 new themes. Be sure to check the description box below for links to last year's videos. Let's get started. Okay, so my client came in for a redesign. So I am going to be applying a green on her middle finger and her thumb. So I'm just applying a clear base because green stains like crazy. So I wanted to apply a clear base so it would be easier to get off next time she comes in. So here we're using Glam and Glitz Back to Basics to build these nails up and for that clear base. And I'm building up three of the nails because I'm going to be using a gel polish on those nails. So the brush I'm using here is my Glitter Bells number 12 brush. It's my new favorite brush. I absolutely love this brush. So here I just applied one thin layer of the clear acrylic and then I added another layer just to build it up a little bit more and make my apex because when I just do clear, sometimes you can do it a little bit too thin. The green I chose for the set was CJP's Grasshopper and you guys are gonna see that I struggled so much with this color. I'm not used to using CJP and I just found it dried so fast for what I was trying to do so I couldn't really get it to work as nice so I did apply it in a bunch of thin layers just to try to build it up. So I did just keep applying until I got like nice even coverage and I do fill in that corner on the side that I missed and it's okay if it's a little bit too thick because I ended up finished filing and it turned out nice in the end. So I did encapsulate the green nails. Some CJP colors you do not need to encapsulate but I just like to encapsulate everything. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys my finished filing for this nail. I'm just using a coarse flame bit that's kind of dull and so you could get away with using a medium flame bit for this. And I'm just using this to debulk the nail. Then I'm going in with an 80 grit hand file and I'm fixing the shape and I'm gonna file over the whole nail to try to even out the nail and make sure there's no deep indents from my carbide bit. Then I'm just buffing the nails with a white buffing block. And then you're gonna wanna cleanse and remove all the dust before doing your art. I'm using Jelly Fit Australia's SS251. This is sort of an off-white with kind of a gray tint to it. And I'm using this on the three nails that I didn't apply any acrylic color on. You're just gonna wanna apply one thin coat and give that a full cure and then apply a second thin coat. Jelly Fit Australia colors are super nice and pigmented and they also apply really smooth and evenly. I use Jelly Fit Australia for all my hand painting. When I do like characters and stuff, it's great. I cured the first coat and now I'm coming in with my second coat to build the color up a little bit. For her pinky, I just wanted it to be a basic sugar nail, so I'm just applying my Kira Sky No Wipe top coat, and then I'm sprinkling on some plain glitter from Glitter Heaven Australia. And then you're gonna wanna cure that. I'm gonna be using this pine cone stamp from Clear Jelly Stamper and number 31, this brown, and I'm gonna be doing a pine cone on her ring finger. I'm gonna make it like a little pine cone ornament, and I'm gonna be doing the, a watercolor technique to fill in the color. So if you get any of the extra stamp on, just wipe it off. So here I'm coming in with my water and I'm pouring it into these three colors in my watercolor palette. So now I'm using my Light Elegant Swirly Brush to pick up some of that color and I'm just placing it inside 
the little pine cones. So it really doesn't matter that much. I was worried at first to try to keep it in the lines, but the water doesn't mess up your stamping for some reason at all. So now to pull some of that water out and keep the color behind, I'm using a clean, plain micro swab. So after I pull out some of the color, now I'm just layering it some more, adding some more color and dimension to it. And I just continue that step until I'm happy. I learned this technique from Talia, from Talia's Nail Tales, who I'm doing this collaboration with. So she likes to do a stamp and then fill it in with watercolor. And I just thought that that would be the perfect way to get the dimension in this pine cone. So you're gonna wanna top coat your pine cone before doing any art. So I'm just using my Ugly Duckling matte top coat and giving that a full cure. So I'm using a stamping plate from Clear Jelly Stamper called Sweet Swirls. And the silver I'm using here is number 45. And I'm just doing the layered stamp here. So I'm doing this really pretty silver at the top. And I'm using the gold at the bottom half here. And this is number 51. And I'm just layering the stamping plate. I just wanted a little bit of gold and majority of the silver. So I did that on both the middle finger and the thumb. So now I'm coming in to draw the lines for the pine cone. And I'm using my Light Elegance Metallic Silver Buttercream. And the brush I'm using here is my Egoista brand art brush and I'm, I'm just drawing on the nail and creating a little bow. So I gave that a cure and it should dry to a tack free finish. And now I'm applying some crystals just a little bit. So I'm using these really pretty little circles from Beamy Beauty Box. And then the crystals in the center is my white opal. And then on the sides, I'm doing rose gold. And then in the center of my pine cone, I'm doing a red crystal. So I'm coming in with my Cura Sky No Wipe Top Coat and I'm just making the two nails shiny. And then I'm gonna make the pointer finger matte. So I gave that a full cure, wiped off all the extra stamping polish that got on the skin, and here's the finished design. So I thought pine cones was gonna be such a hard decision to do something with, but I'm super happy with the way that these turned out and they are so much like my client. So don't forget to check out what Talia did. She did this really fun pine cone set with the chrome in the background. I just think the color choices she chose were so perfect. So make sure to check out her channel. I'll leave her in the description box and don't forget to come back tomorrow and see the next design. Bye.